Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to Robotics and Raspberry Pi 5 tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to increase swap memory file size in Raspberry Pi 5. And here is the motivation for increasing the swap memory size. Raspberry Pi 5 comes in two versions. A version with 4GB RAM and a version with 8GB RAM. However, if you run a number of applications or processes at the same time, this memory might quickly be consumed and your Raspberry Pi might slow down or experience temporary freezes. Loosely speaking, swap memory will virtually or under quotes virtually increase RAM size. On the other hand, it will occupy some extra space on your drive, such as microSD, SSD, or an NVMe SSD, depending on what type of memory storage you're using to run your Linux Ubuntu. It will be used in addition to the regular RAM memory and especially when the RAM memory is totally consumed. That is, applications can store their data and processes in the swap memory. A larger swap memory is extremely useful when you have a large number of applications that are running concurrently, since when the regular RAM is consumed, swap memory can be used as a virtual RAM. That is, by increasing the swap memory size, we can improve the stability of the system and prevent some applications from crashing. And here is a brief disclaimer. We don't take any responsibility if during the process of increasing the swap memory size or after increasing swap memory size your system or some applications experience issues or you erase some data. In our case the system remains stable and the performance is significantly improved. Also, keep in mind that swap memory is actually a physical memory space reserved on your drive, such as a microSD, SSD, or an NVMe SSD. By increasing swap memory size, we allow applications to read and write data to our disk. In some scenarios, read and write operations might happen with a large frequency. Some types of drives, such as microSD drives, are not suitable for high frequency read and write operations. First of all, they are slow, and secondly, their lifetime might significantly be decreased if we quickly and many times perform read and write operations. On the other hand, SSDs and NVMe SSDs are more suitable for high frequency read and write operations, and they are more durable and robust than micro SDs. Also, in this tutorial, we are running Linux Ubuntu on our Raspberry Pi 5. We are not running Raspberry Pi operating system. Okay, let's start with explanations. The first step is to open a terminal. To do that, click here and search over here for terminal. And open a terminal. Now, I'm going to resize this terminal window such that you can see what I'm typing and at the same time you can also read this manual that I prepared. First of all, let's write top and let's see what do we have on our system. You can see on my system that I'm having a Raspberry Pi 5 with 8 GB of RAM. You can see currently how much memory is being free and used and you can see my current swap file size. This is my swap memory. You can see that it's around 1 GB and this is default file size for Raspberry Pi 5 as well as for Raspberry Pi 4. Okay, so let's now verify this information. To do that, we simply need to execute this command. And enter your password. So what do you see here? You see the swap file. It is a size of one gigabyte. You can see amount it's being used and here is the priority. The priority is the priority of using this swap file memory. Let's now see the actual file. So let's go to root and let's list it. And over here you can see the swap file and you can see the size of the swap file. And it's obviously around one gigabyte. Good. Now, before we can make any changes, we need to disable the swap memory. To do that, simply execute this command, sudo swap off and give the option A. 
and that's it now let's open a new terminal and let's run pop to see what's happening you can see currently that swap memory is zero in total okay this is very important next we need to erase the current swap file to do that let's go back to this terminal and let's just execute this erase command so we write sudo erase and then we specify the swap file and let's execute this and then let's list and see what's happening you can see that the swap file is being erased next i will change the swap memory file size and usually i like to do it like this if for example my ram memory is around 8 gigabyte i will set the swap file size to 10. so let's do that to do that, we simply need to write this command, sudo fa locate or allocate, then you need to specify the size. If I want to specify 10 gigabytes, I need to write this, 10g, and then you need to specify the name of the swap file. Here it is. Simple as that. Now, if you're using Raspberry Pi 4, you can also set the swap file size to 10 gigabytes. You can even go further. However, I don't think on, a, on the Raspberry Pi 5 you might need more memory. Or you might need, depends on what you want to do. Okay, so let's run this. And next, we need to set the permission such that only the root user can change the swap file size. However, let's see, did something change? Yes, things have changed. And you can see now our swap file size let's see the size and obviously the size is 10 gigabytes now we can see that the permissions are read write read read this is not what we want we want to change the permissions to this and then let's see what are the permissions and here it is only the user or the sudo can access this file this is very important now to implement the changes we need to simply type this and here it is setting up setting up swap space version one we specify the size no label and you can see this id number which is very important now we need to enable back the swap memory and swap file to do that, we simply need to do this. sudo swap on swap file. And that's it. Next, you need to reboot the system or restart your computer. There are several ways to do that. Usually, I like to type this. Now, after you, after you execute this command, your system will reboot. So let's do that. After restarting the computer, let's verify the swap file size. To do that, let's open a terminal again. And over here, let's resize the terminal. And in the terminal, let's do two things. First of all, let's execute this command. sudo swap on show so let's see what's happening enter your password and here it is we can see that the swap file is now 10 gigabytes however let's do the second test the second test open a new terminal window and type top and over here you should see the swap file size now it's 10 gigabytes looks very good i like to see this i have more swap memory than more than actually my RAM memory. This is super, super important. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Also on my video channel, that is on my YouTube channel, you have more than 800 free video tutorials. These video tutorials cover different topics. For example, I have a large number of tutorials on robotics, machine learning, control engineering, control theory, system identification, FPGAs, microcontrollers, etc. Make sure that you check out these videos and see you in the next video tutorial.